Welcome to Storybook Land in New Jersey, the land where copyrights don't matter. This is where all of your things that are super old, this is where old stories are, uh, a pretty fun theme park to go to. First off, there are a ton of parking spots. Where we are right here, you can see there's about 100 parking spots to get to park, and there's even more parking on the other end. Pricing, please buy your tickets online. They are 25 bucks online. If you go to the door, it's going to be 28.50, as you can see. I'm going to get into that a little later, too. And children under two are free. Anything more, they're going to charge 20 bucks. This is all 18 of their rides and even more attractions and things to see and do. Not a tiny place, not a huge place, but not also, also not tiny. Um, this information is also available while you're there in the pamphlets. This is important because you will know what your kids can ride. Uh, we have a 20 month old, so we looked at that to make sure he can ride everything or what he can ride if it was worth going to. This is the entrance to Storybook Land. This is the first thing you see when you walk in the entrance and you're greeted by Mother Goose, who is a little scary looking. Uh, not scary really, but just kind of creepy looking. There are a ton of places to eat. There's five places to eat. Um, it's a pretty fun place. There's attractions to see, things to look at, rides to go on for kids, okay? Now let me get back to that pricing. Uh, you know what, first off, I don't work for Storybook Land. I was not hired to do this. I just do review videos for places we've been, things that we buy, because uh, not everyone does, and I want to Sometimes people are interested in, you know, what, what is this about? So that's why I do these videos. Um, pricing. Anyone under two is free. Anyone over two, you pay twenty eight fifty four. So your two and a half year old or your two year old and one day old is gonna be twenty eight fifty, the same price as an adult. It's kinda crap. Um, we went with uh, the in my in laws, so there's four of us. It's a hundred bucks buying the tickets online. $100 for the, like a half a day because we have a 20 month old so he's not, he doesn't want to be there all day. It was just really expensive I felt. Um, if you want to charge me $28 for my kid, fine. Charge adults $12, $15 because we're not doing anything but having a good time with our kid, don't get me wrong. It was a really fun time and I, I didn't think I was going to have fun here but we did because he had fun. But you're not going to ride any rides, you know, like these rides are not for you, they're for kids and they're perfect for kids. This here is like the old timer ride. It's a propane powered uh, car. And the line for this was the longest of anything because you can drive it. The kids get in this and it's put, 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 put. They drive it down the thing. It's got a rail so they can't go off of the trail kind of, but they can turn and they can put step on the gas pedal. The kids loved this thing. I thought this was the greatest thing there was. There's a lot of stuff to see around here. I've got a lot of the rides in the video. There are video. There are videos of rides I did not put in the video, um, but there are other rides that are not here. But you can see that you know in that first couple of seconds of the video, there's 18 rides, so you can see what the map looks like. Again, it's not a tiny place. It's not super huge, but you're going to take about half a day. It did take us about four hours to go ahead and go through everything and just kind of walk around. We got a little bit of food, and we were done done after four hours um, we rode one, two th we rode one thing twice so we didn't really do multiple of the rides if he was a little older he possibly would have wanted to do more of the rides but I don't think at this age 20 year 20 months that he would want to do any more than that he was kind of tired he was getting <laughs> it was the end of the day uh, we're sitting on the train this kind of goes around the whole place of storybook land so in this part of the video, you're going to really see a lot of the park. This is Bubbles, the roller coaster. For, as I mentioned earlier, not every ride is suitable for every kid. You know, it's going to be uh, certain size requirements. And our kid, 20 months old, is too small to ride the roller coaster. Um, there's another thing here coming up, these cars. He could have gone on that. He was, he was tall enough to go on that. However, that he cannot be accompanied on, and we weren't sure how he would do unaccompanied on that ride. But again, you're not gonna come into this blind. They really did a great job with the park because they give you all the information online in that pamphlet. So before you even get there, you can see what rides you can go on, what rides they can go on by themselves, what you can do, how plan out your day. Because no one wants to get to a park and be blindsided about what your kids can go on or not. You know, like, 
you're going to be aware of what they can go on. You can kind of create a plan of what you want to do, what they can do, and go forward. It's not going to be, uh, you're not going to be blindsided by, oh, I want to go on bubbles, but you know, you know that your kid can't go on that. So you're not going to build that hype up around those rides. You're going to be willing to go on what they want to do, and you know, you're going to you're going to be uh, aware of what's going on. That's one thing I thought that they did really, really good with Storybook Clan is they give you a map. They give you all the information that you need before you even get there. Um, you know, they, they are a really family-oriented theme park. Like, I, I wanted to walk into this theme park with my wife and my in-laws and not have a good time because I was like, this place just looks like my Uncle Fred bought a bunch of stuff somewhere and put it put it in the in a park and made and charged people to go to it. You know, like some of the attractions are a little a little scary looking or like from the fifties kinda of, they're kinda of old. But that's me, you know, it's a thirty something year old dude, not uh, a five year old kid, you know, like every kid here was super stoked to be here. I mean that was that was worth it. That was so cool, you know? This is not Great Adventure. This is not Disney World, and it's not meant to be. This is meant to be an affordable place to take your kid and have a good time, and they have a good time, and be affordable. You know, like this is this was a great place. The food, I'll get to that later too. That's affordable. You can even bring food from outside the park in the park and have a picnic. Um, earlier, just this in the earlier, maybe about 30 seconds ago in this train ride, you can see we pass a little picnic area that you can bring food to and sit down and, and relax. You don't have to go sit in your car. You don't, like in Great Adventure, you're not allowed to bring food from outside, you know? The only thing Storybook Land asks you not to bring in like a commercial, so that no fast food places, stuff like that. But you can bring a sandwich, you can bring some prepared food that you've already made which is really rad because if you don't want your kids eating chicken fingers and hamburgers, you can bring in a you know, healthy alternative and have it for them. If, or if they have allergies, you can bring your own food, which is really cool. And this is part of the stuff, like right here, you can see you know, the, the reindeer. There's other stuff to do. This is a little house. This is other stuff to do besides rides. So you're not just bouncing from ride to ride. You're interacting with these animatronic uh, displays. You know, there's these statues. There's Mother Goose. There's the... the the old lady in the shoe. This thing is really cool. It's a North Pole. It's like, it's cold. It's a frozen ice cube thing. You know, there's stuff in the water. There is things to do besides rides. This is one of the animatronic things with the Sleeping Beauty. They're not crazy good. You know, some of them literally are freaky. The, um, the three bears one was a little scary, the, the bears themselves. Um, but it's different. It's, it's interesting. Music's playing. There's pets. There's not pets, but there's a, there's little areas for animals too. Like there's some peacocks and, and geese in here that your kids can see. So as you're walking between rides, they can pet Mary's lamb. They can feed him a couple, you know, like for a quarter, you can get some treats and feed the animals. There's also deer, there's goats. There's more things to do than just the rides again. This was really cool. This is like the Billy Goat Grimm. You can put treats in a little bucket and bring it up to them on the top, you know. And the, the goats can come down too. They're not come stuck on. up there. This is like a nice little habitat for the for the for the goats. And then they have some uh, like a wildlife preserve kind of for deer that were injured or something happened to them and they needed a habitat. They adopted them and they have them here for people to learn, get a little bit stu little information about. There's a little thing here for goose geese just walking around, N just more stuff to to interact with your kids and, and see. You know, there's there's ducks on the on the property too. This is the food. I took a picture of it. If you want to freeze here, you can see the prices. Eight bucks for a burger and fries. You're not gonna get that anywhere else in a theme park, you know? And what do you have to do after you eat, you probably have to go to the restroom. So the restroom's super clean. Uh, I went into two of them. My wife was in a few other ones. She said that they were all clean. And this picture, I took this picture. There's no one in it. That's why I took it. Super clean bathroom. There's always somewhere for you to change your kid. Um, so if you have a younger one that's still in diapers, you don't have to worry about um, having to put them on a dirty changing pad or changing area. Changing them in a picnic table, it's dirty. 
you can do all of this in the clean, clean bathrooms. Like, and people rave about the bathrooms, and I see why. Like, I was like, who talks about the bathrooms? Well, I do, because they were clean. I would be okay with my kid going in here and using the facilities and not having to worry about, Ugh, what's in the toilet? What's in the urinal? Clean. That's what, that's what that is. It's clean. Super nice. My only thing was, with this particular bathroom, the door is behind me, so if you walk past, you could see the urinals. But the other bathrooms had doors that closed. This one had a door that closed, but it was open. Um, it's the only thing. But really clean, um, really nice bathrooms. Totally. Uh, men's and women's, I'm told. Um, not just, you know, when you're going to go, there's other stuff to do. So throughout the year, they have a Christmas thing. They have a thing for winter, um, like the whole Santa, the lights all around the park. I hear from friends and family who have been there before that the park is really different when, at Christmas. And if you celebrate Christmas, um, they say it's a great spot time to go because Santa's there. He turns the park on. All the lights turn on. It's a really cool thing that they say. And all the, like I said, all the, the attractions have lights that turn on. It kind of just create almost a new park, I'm told. And I've seen pictures and it looks really cool. So we might actually have, after have gone recently, we might actually have to go back. And Christmas, my wife says, she's a big Christmas freak. So that could be another fun time to go. They do have limited hours in the holidays. So it's worth checking. But again, it, they have a fantastic website. It's on the website. So you're never in the dark with, are they open? What time? It's all on the website. And not just Christmas, but they do have like, you know, for Halloween, they do market it as not scary, but fun. And I thought that was really neat because having a young kid and he's going to grow older there, um, I don't want to go anywhere that he's going to be scared, but having fun. So that's how they market it. As you're on the train ride, it actually says, you know, don't forget to come on back for, you know, Halloween where we don't do scary, but we do fun. So that's really cool. We had, overall, we had a fan, I had a, we had a really good time at Storybook Land. Like I said, I did not expect to have a good time. I didn't know, I really didn't want to have a good time because I thought this would just be kind of a, a crappy place. But it's really cool. I can't recommend it more for um, kids who I would say maybe under eight Maybe seven would be the, maybe, maybe seven would be tops. Anything larger, there's not really many rides for older kids to go to. A lot of the rides are geared towards smaller kids. Um, like you're not going to go, like when you go to Great Adventure, they're not going to be able to ride. The small kids are not going to be able to ride the cool stuff, you know, like the cool roller coasters. Whereas this theme park, and you know, you don't have to, when you're at Great Adventure, oh, I want to go on that. You can't, you're too small. You don't have to deal with that at Storybook Land because everything at Storybook Land is made for your kids. So they're going to be like, hey, can I go on that? Absolutely. You know, you can go on it. I'll be right here waiting for you. I can see you. At, I can see you on the whole path of the line. I can see you while you're on the ride. Storybook Land is really geared towards families and geared towards making sure that your kids will have a great time no matter what because, again, the food is affordable. The food's pretty good. They had chicken fingers, french fries, hamburgers. They had things for them to eat, so, or you could bring your own. So if you have allergies or a certain diet, you can bring your own food, and no one's going to hassle you on it, which is awesome. The, the, the rides, again, you're not going to have any. Can I go on that? No, you're too small. Of course you can. Of course you can go on it because this place is made for them. You know, there's even some educational stuff that they, um, they advertise to that I really don't know anything on about. It is on their website. They have uh, group rates. If you have large parties, you can do that. Schools, they do um, stuff in the summer for like camps. So Storybook Land is really worth going to. Um, I, I can't believe after, I, th I thought it was going to be really good. At the end of this video, I'm like really talking it up a lot, surprisingly. But a lot of stuff for your kids to do. Uh, a bunch of rides. There's attractions. There's animals. There's pretty good food. The ability to park really close and eat in your car or bring it into the park and not be hassled. Uh, another thing, too. Lastly, you do have to exit the park through the gift shop. Of course, you know, they all hit you with that gift shop stuff. But... When you walk through the gift shop, stuff is affordable. I mean, like, you're going to buy a shirt for 12 bucks. You know, we got a wizard hat for $9. You know, so your kid's going to want something. Of course, that's what kids do. They always want something. They see something they want. That's what they do. And you're going to be able to afford it because you didn't spend a lot of money on food. You didn't spend so much money on tickets. And you can afford to get something in the gift shop because it's affordable. 
And like I said, nine dollars for a wizard hat. We he didn't want it, you know, but he loves it now. So like I'm glad we spent nine dollars. It's not great adventure where you're spending twenty five, thirty dollars on the same thing, you know. Storybook Land is made for made for families, made for kids. Absolutely, you should check it out if you live in New Jersey or are close. Definitely, definitely check out Storybook Land.